fighting wars They've been here all this time And if I fall Well then I'll leave this place behind Well I can change Be more than this disgrace Well I can wait Just tell me to my face How did I end up in this place? How did I end up in this place? Artistic temperament is a disease which afflicts amateurs. Chesterton. The truly professional writer will not let anything hinder the ceaseless, regular production of words. Even if what you turn out seems of little merit, it may become the foundation for something. You may erect a structure that reaches towards the sublime. Now, we have time for one piece. Who would like to read? Nima. Oh, uh, it's, it's still... I need to work on Foundation it. Foundation stones, Nima. Let's hear it. Falling in love, for me, all starts in the stomach. A quivery feeling like butterflies fluttering their brightly coloured wings. First slowly, and then increasing in speed, as your lover's face in the field. I'll see young faces. I think I'm the most beautiful thing he'll ever touch. Yet, I know a secret. He's far more beautiful than I, or anything, will ever be. Sean, could you? At your age, of course, love seems like the most important thing, the most earth-shaking event in your life. And when you stop believing that, the prognosis is terminal. Thoughts on that, if you please? Ah, if you have time. Try to keep the waspish comments to, let's say, five a page. Oh, I, I could do with it back by the end of next week. Then I shall waste no time reading. Won't you introduce me to your acolytes and uh, aspirants? Everyone, this is Roderick Small, writer of boisterous detective stories, all of them available in large print. Be careful not to step on him on your way out. All those you got from your talks. Ample inspiration there for your inevitable midlife crisis novel. Other way up, dear. I see your block's really getting to you. Well, we do share an agent. Just because I have standards regarding my work and other things, it's just she does realise that Small is descriptive of several things about you. Still trotting out the old classics. There's clearly something on your mind. It's been there a while. What are you afraid of? Is it joy? Freedom? Loss of control? In Istanbul, you were... I was young then. 
Are you so old now? I can't go back. That does not mean you must stand still. <laughs> he doesn't hate you. He doesn't like me. And you know why. Don't be silly. He's alone, isn't he? And he favours all the girls. Especially you. I mean, why else would he offer a class for nothing? Oh, maybe he believes in young writing? Well, that's... potential. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes I think, oh, I don't know. I think he's... Well, never mind about him for the moment. <laughs> I was just wondering if I'd forgotten anything. Um, You're really? Sorry, I was hoping to catch you alone. Talk to you. Go on, we'll come in a few minutes. Uh, no, uh, come in now and we'll, we'll have some tea first. Oh, the Steiner, yes. Come in. Have you read this yet? I've um, had too much. Do my own work. I can't just. Something on your mind. You read a lot, you read a lot of that. Work. I read mine more than once. What are you afraid of? Caravasan was an amazing book. No, sorry, that's a crappy word, everyone uses that. It was heartbreaking. Is that supposed to be praise? Because... I read to be moved, to be broken open and made vulnerable in that book. You were more more vulnerable, more exposed than any other writer I can think of. The last two. What happened? I went too far. I had to step back. Or... Carabasan. It's something to do with um, the edge of sleep. Isn't it? Something attacking you? Stealing your breath, yes. <laughs> what was it? The whole book, there's no sense of fear or menace in it. In some ways, it's the most joyous thing I've ever read. How could you...? <laughs> I chose the title later. What? When you become afraid? Afraid of what? Life? Feeling? What kind of a life do you have now? Even your, your friends. You seem to keep them at arm's length. I have my work. Surely we're here to live. Writing's only a part of that. <sighs> Says the 17-year-old oracle. Age means nothing. Life is young, David. It's now. It's reborn every instant. So can we be. Where did you read that? Sorry. You should enjoy your youth. Enjoy Sean. He's a good writer. 
you're better. Be careful he doesn't sap your energy and keep you from writing. Is that what happened to you? Karabasan was your book. All of it. Everything. Everything that went into that book. Everything that was released from me. None of it would have come out if not for you. And this is why you ran away? There has to be some kind of control. Life is not under our control, David. No, but art is. That's why it's art. But then, what is inspiration? What controls that? Sometimes you must let yourself be carried away, even if you are taken to somewhere strange. Well, my last two books have certainly taken me nowhere. As with your work, so with your life. So I should be like small? He takes risks. For example, he is willing to risk your disapproval. What, that girl he had in tow? Not that. Is it in your mind to be generous when you read his book? He's good. He's good and he knows it. He doesn't need my generosity. No. But perhaps you do. taking my eyes from yours. I don't know about you, but I'm starving. Shall we eat? That was excellent. You still need to restrain your adjectives here and there, but love seems to be a popular subject in this group these days. Hemingway's. I'll get it. Hemingway said that writing is like making love with someone that you love. You're empty when you stop, empty but ever filling. And nothing can harm you, nothing seems to matter until the next time you do it. I felt that way about writing and I hope you will too. Did I interrupt? Sorry, I should have picked this up before, but I... Uh... It's all right. I'm glad you're here. Oh? Read it, have you? I haven't, but if you'll give me four days, I will, I promise. I only have four days because I'm going away. Maybe... Maybe you'd like to fill in for me here. I'm sure the group would like that. Yeah. Well, I... I suppose I could. I'd be honoured. Where are you going? Oh, somewhere strange. Or Istanbul. Whichever finds me first. I'm from the top.